Hello, and welcome to How Shall We Now Live in the 21st Century. My name is Duncan. Yesterday, April 2nd, 2023, was Palm Sunday. The Christian Church remembers the last five days of the life of Jesus, starting with his entrance into Jerusalem riding on a donkey. It's called Palm Sunday because the crowd that lined the street threw palms in the path of the donkey as well as their clothes. During his last earthly week, Jesus was betrayed by one of his disciples, had one of his disciples deny knowing him, and had several trials during which two of them he was beaten. And finally, he was crucified having his hands and feet nailed to a wooden cross. Because of what Jesus went through, this week is called Passion Week. For the next several videos, we will take a look at the seven sayings of Jesus on the cross. For this video, we remember what he said to those that had just nailed him to the cross. His words are found in Luke chapter 23. And when they came to the place called Calvary, there they crucified him and criminals, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. What an amazing teacher our Savior is. Remember what he taught us in the Lord's Prayer? He told us that if we want to be forgiven, we must forgive. His disciples later asked him, how many times must we forgive one individual that sins against us? And he told them 70 times seven. In other words, lots and lots more and don't stop forgiving. Of course, Jesus didn't need to be forgiven, but he still modeled his teaching by forgiving. Just think about it. Our creator became one of us. He lived a perfect life, and yet we nailed him to a cross, and because of his love, he chose to forgive us all. How shall we now live in the 21st century? We should live a life thankful to Jesus for his forgiveness which he made possible by dying on that old rugged cross. In the description for this video, please find some Bible verses that may help you as you study about forgiveness. Also, find an email address that if you'd like, you can get in touch with me. Finally, during this Passion Week leading up to Good Friday and then Easter Sunday, May the Lord Jesus be with you and bless you now and forevermore. Amen.